Hey there, guys. Uh, Daniel back in the shop. I uh, wanted to do just a light review on this new welder I got. Uh, you saw it in the previous video when I built the cart, and that's what prompted me to build the cart because I had to buy a new welder. Uh, the MIG function went out on my original one uh, that I bought last year. I guess it was like uh, maybe 10, 11 months old, and uh, it went out. So, and I hadn't used it that much, so that's one of the but let's take a look at this. This is the Prime Well MIG 180. It's stick and MIG welding. And one thing that I really like about it is uh, uh, it's got the digital controls uh, instead of guessing. And I'll show you what I mean. On the first welder I bought was this Well Pro. And you see, depending on what uh, function you're running, determine on the numbers that you use. And uh, it was a lot of guessing to where you was on amps or whatever and uh, when it's down here on the bottom on stick welding got a, a diagram of a stick welder a stinger and a electrode in it <clears throat> then you will use the numbers that's color that that yellow color which would be the outside numbers and so I wanted something digital and like I said when I built the cart I wanted to raise it up and I still may one day put a platform to raise it up a little bit more to make it a high level but uh, that's probably been a little bit lazy, but that's what I wanted to do. So this is the MIG 180, made by Primewell, digital control. I'm going to turn it on here in a minute. And uh, for whatever, when I pulled it out the box, I knew that uh, it was a different machine. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things that they did, because if a customer made a complaint, they automatically start sending this instead of using the small deal in the book. And, uh, the instruction manual is really good. Uh, I found probably one or two typographical area errors, but other than that, very good. The pictures, uh, the wording, the sentence, stru sentence structure, all that is really good. Uh, I went on and bought this. I probably shouldn't have bought this. Uh, this is a cover for the weather because <clears throat> I usually don't cover it, but I may start using it. If not, I sell it on eBay or something like that. But uh, I guess I just was in a good mood and I decided to buy it. And uh, I don't really use them. But anyway, so the, the <coughs> this is what, everything on this table is what comes with the welder. You get the big size chart, manual. This doesn't come with it. That's extra. I bought that. <laughs> but you get the gas hose for the CO2. We send you a roll of a solid wire, uh, 0 .030, which is 8 millimeter. They send you that. <coughs> You get a couple of rollers here, and then that's nice too. Now they send you another little screw for the MIG gun, and I'll show you that over there. On the, uh, <clears throat> you get a flow valve, and I didn't use this one because I used the one off the other one. It was already the line, the hose was already hooked to it, so I said, Why change it? Just use it, they're both the same, and you can see it over there, and it uh, works perfect. <coughs> and so it comes with these tools, a couple of consumers. I hadn't figured out what that wrench is for. Uh, I hadn't had a need for it, but it's, it goes to something. So we'll figure it out later. And this is the spool gun if you want to do aluminum, aluminum well, MIG welding. And it already has some wire in there. And you usually have to have a spool gun on a, on a MIG machine because uh, the wire, the aluminum welding wire, doesn't go through the long cable very well so they have a spool gun to have a short path uh, to well with but I have no interest in doing aluminum <coughs> I'm satisfied with mild steel uh, it comes with one of these but I didn't even take the wrap off of it that's if you want to plug into a 110 and use it you can plug the 220 into the to here and then to use it for that <coughs> comes with a stinger for the stick stick or alt welding and uh, probably about a 200 amp uh, stinger. Uh, didn't even unwrap it because I have no intention of stick welding uh, with this machine. That's why I kept the uh, Well Pro. Just do stick welding on it only. And then it does good for that. <coughs> but anyway, that comes with it. This will probably come in handy. I'll probably use this lens on my cap <coughs> to show some close up welding when I get a little bit better. They send you this little brush, just generic brush, and you got the handle to put on the shield. So, in the ideal world, you would hold the shield up <coughs> and well with one hand, uh, I guess, when you get really good. So, those are some of the items that come in it. I would tell you one of the things that really impressed me when I first opened the box, how well it was packed. It had these in the corners. The little plastic things in the corner of the box. And uh, even though the box had a 
couple of dings and scratches. There was nothing wrong. The foam is probably, I would say, three quarters to an inch thick. And, I mean, it was packed in that tight. You could shake it up and down, and uh, it would not move at all. <coughs> so, after getting the machine set on the table and what have you, uh, one of the things that really impressed me was the mechanism here. If you look at my Well Pro video about a year ago, I was telling you how they had all plastic parts in here. And this is really nice here. Uh, you got your adjustments, even when it's for, it has the numbers on the little deal here. And that little wing that I was telling you about, this is where it goes right here. It holds, you put, you loosen it up, put the mid gun through, tighten it up, and it does the trick. And so this all works great, smooth. This is really nice here. You can, it actually has a screw where you can adjust. The old one just had a turn it in, and it had a slot. And I always had problems out of the right tension and stuff like that. But this in here uh, really solved that problem. Uh, <coughs> I love the idea that the door don't just come down. It has a nice look handle or button or whatever you want to call this to open the door. Push up on here and the door will come open. So uh, that's a really nice feature. Uh, you can tell I've been using some wire here. I've been MIG welding. And uh, they got another sticker inside here. And then you have your switch if you want to go to a loom. See the diagram? It shows you uh, the spool gun. So, really happy with this weather. Uh, the cables and stuff are all nice and long, in my opinion. They're great. And uh, so, the mid gun, a little different than my old one, uh, but it works fine. My old one had a little hook here. So, if you want to hook it on something like that, but I have one of these deals here. So, it's, it's not a deal breaker. That'll hold it when you're welding or in the middle of a job. So, that's fine. I uh, don't need that. Don't have to have it. So, great gun, very long. Uh, if you need to rotate your tip, just turn this knob here, and you can rotate the end of the gun if you need to, but I don't see a reason for it. Uh, I would say, if if I had to say one negative thing, and uh, it's not a deal breaker, but I would say the length of that sticking out the front. All main guns have something coming out the front. Uh, most welders, everything comes out the front. But uh, this is, you see my hand here, that is pretty big. But I'm the only one in here. Uh, my wife don't do any welding, and all my buddies live in other places. So it's not a big deal. But it sticks out about that. My hand is a normal size hand, I would say. And uh, that's how much it stick out. I probably need to cut this off, but it's not a reason to. That's the way it was shipped. So I just left it uh, like that. So <clears throat> got the MIG baller gas baller hooked up to the mig gun to the mig machine uh the 75 25 and uh, everything back here came out nice uh the ground clamp is standard what they're normally seeing on these machines and uh got the cable the little copper in there and so this one's pretty strong i probably use it uh usually what i do on my hands i take them off and i buy this on amazon and i put this bad ball on here and I put it on the plasma cutter, and then I had it on the Well Pro, and uh, hadn't had any trouble. Get a great grip. I think it's a 500 amp. I actually bought one to put on this machine, which I may not put on, but I got it in here. Yeah, this is what I buy off Amazon for my grind clamps on all the welding equipment. Works really well. Very strong. And uh, let's put the cable in there, and I put it in the vise get it real good and tight get the ground clamp real good and tight so it works out really well uh loving this toolbox it's uh this is just a side show but got my plasma cutter glass of goggles in there keep my ppe in there down here it's got the uh clamps and then got a sander so it works out really well love this toolbox great idea i'm glad i made the decision to purchase and do it Okay, that's enough of me talking about that. Uh, great machine. When I set it here, turned it on, I knew it was different. And uh, so we're going to uh, just turn it on, let you hear how it sounds. The fan does run all the time, which doesn't bother me. I used to be an automobile mechanic, so I'm used to noise in a shop. So let's fire this up, and I'm going to shut up and uh, let you hear how it sounds.
Okay, kind of walked away a few feet on the other side of the welding table and let you hear it at a distance. But great thing about this I like, I like when you turn it off, depending on whether you've just been welding or not. You saw there I didn't burn any wells, but uh, uh, it has a cool down feature. It runs a few seconds uh, before it shuts off. So, but that's pretty much it. Uh, very uh, good machine. I like it as a hobbyist. It should last me a long time. It has a three-year warranty. They have a no-hassle warranty, and they really stand behind it. So I, I would encourage you to buy one. Uh, if you are uh, in the market for a MIG, a MIG 180, even if it doesn't do what you want for a stickness-wise, you can do multi-passes. Uh, I decided a long time ago that uh, I run 030 wire, 8 millimeter, and then uh, uh, usually I stay with 1 uh, 8th or 16 gauge is what I do the most. And if I have, I very seldom have to go thicker than that. If I do, I use stick or I do uh, multi passes. So, uh, very happy with the cart. Uh, very happy with my purchase. Probably if I'd have bought this prime well a year ago, we wouldn't be here, wouldn't have this. But uh, all things work out good. So, all right, uh, we'll get some. I got some scrap here. And I'll probably do a butt joint, maybe a T joint or something like that, and a lap joint, and then run a couple of stringer beads. I, I hear that MIG not really designed for stringer beads or, or you know, it's kind of uh, just running straight beads. Uh, better to do that with stick. But anyway, we'll run a couple beads. Uh, this is how well it wells. Uh, this is something, a uh, target stand that we use at the gun range for uh, this target stand with whole uh, clays you hook the clays on here and then it uh, works really well it gives a, a small profile so when you shoot it with a shotgun doesn't bend the target stand but that's one of my wells I put it on a tack well there I had it a little bit hot on there you can see that the uh, cross the cross piece is turning color so I had it really hot uh, and that's half inch of rebar but uh, We'll do some of that just for a demonstration. I probably won't fire up the stick, and then who knows? I may, if I feel good, I may do that. But my main thing is for me, and I'm very happy with it, very pleased with it. And like I said, if I had one thing to complain about, it would be that this is so bucky. But it's not a deal breaker, okay? All right, let's get some set up to well. All right, we'll do a, I run a couple of beads. I got a T joint here, I uh, got a butt joint. Got a piece of angle line right here, sitting on the magnet. Uh, I may do a lap joint too. If I get finished with the butt joint, just put it on top do a lap joint. But I've already cleaned the metal. Uh, one of the things I really like this about the machine though, when you finish, you're supposed to turn off the gas and then uh, come back and usually recommend it for safety reason to stop, put everything away 30 minutes before you go in the house. Well, a couple of days ago, I left, went in the house, and I forgot to turn my gas off. Slept all night, went to work all day, came back, and I have a habit when I walk by the gas cylinder just turning the knob just to make sure it's closed. Well, it wasn't closed. And thankfully, the solenoid, to speak to the quality of the prime well machine, the solenoid must be excellent because in that 24 hours, 36 hour period, I didn't lose any gas. It still got plenty in it. So, I got the machine on, and I uh, got the gas turned on, and we'll run these beads here, and uh, let you look at them and see how they do.
going a little bit too fast. But anyway, you get the picture. It works out really well. I to practice a whole lot on my technique. But uh, overall, very happy with this machine. And uh, as I stated earlier, I suggest you get one. Love the digital display. Uh, love uh, how it operates. And like right now, I'm going to shut up so you can hear the fan. See? It's not enough to interfere with you. So, uh, if you're in the market, uh, think about this. Uh, and you're going to choose uh, mid weather. Like I said, it has stick. And I may come out here one day and just uh, run a couple beads with the stick and compare it until the old weather, the one that I'm replacing. And uh, thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share it with your friend. Thank you.